guys, it's Melanie. Uh, first and foremost, I apologize for my nasally voice. I am still sick at the time that I'm recording this video, but I feel like this is a very important video that I've been meaning to do for quite some time because I don't think that I personally have ever seen a dedicated video to um, how to clean your cleansing devices. So I have two that I use personally, and today I'm just going to tell you how I keep these completely clean, bacteria-free. Um, when I did my video comparing these two, a lot of people mentioned that they were kind of grossed out by the Clarisonic because um, it can harbor bacteria and, you know, all kinds of nasty stuff. And I was like, why would it do that? That just didn't make sense to me because for me, when I first started using the Clarisonic, it was kind of like a... I sort of realized that I probably would have to take care of this, not only to, you know, prolong the life of my Clarisonic, but also to make sure that I don't spread bacteria over my face um, and sort of reinfect myself in any kind of way if I have a breakout or something. It's sort of the same idea as washing your makeup brushes. You have to wash your makeup brushes. They get disgusting if you don't. Um, I have so many girlfriends who didn't know that they had to wash their makeup brushes and when they would show them to me I would be like what are what is that what are you doing <laughs> you have to wash those um and it just didn't even occur to them that that was like a thing to do so same thing with your cleansing devices even the Foreo Luna I think you have to take some time to um, clean this as well. Now this is, um, I'm going to show you what I do personally on a weekly basis and I'll kind of tell you also how I maintain them on a daily basis as well. But um, you have to make sure that you are keeping these cleansing devices completely clean because it is very possible that if you have an active breakout on your face that you are, you know, taking this Clarisonic brush head and rubbing it over that and potentially spreading that to another area of your face or letting that bacteria fester in here. You don't need to do that. It's very easy to take care of these cleansing devices. So really quickly, I'm just going to tell you what I do on a weekly basis first, and then we'll go into the daily stuff. So once a week, I take my Clarisonic. And um, if you don't know this, sometimes it can be kind of hard to get these brush heads off. But if you just take the cap that comes with the Clarisonic, put it back on there, and then just twist it off. Sometimes this can be a little bit slick if it's wet. The brush head very easily pops off. And what I will do with this brush, like the actual like Clarisonic, not the brush head, is I will just take some dish soap, and I will just take a little squirt of that, and I will literally wash this Clarisonic so that if there's any like dirt or bacteria like on the handle or anything I get rid of that also I take a toothbrush and I go in and I scrub the inside of this so that there's no like mold or anything that can happen in there you really want to take the time to do that on a weekly basis you don't have to do it every single day it's good to do it on a weekly basis um, and you just sort of you know clean this out with the soap and then you rinse it off and then this is good to go now with the actual um, brush head. I will take the brush head once a week and I take some isopropyl alcohol. I use 91% and you can see that I just found this at Walgreens. It's like a dollar or a dollar fifty and what I will do is put a little bit of this into a ramekin and just enough to cover the bristles and then I set my brush in there and I just let it soak for about five minutes. The rubbing alcohol will get rid of any dirt, germs, or bacteria that are on your brush head. I take it out, I rinse it off really well, and um, then I'm able to just put this bad boy back on here and it's good to go. Again, make sure that you really rinse that rubbing alcohol off. Super easy. Now, um, so that's what I do on a weekly basis for this. 
Also, on a weekly basis, I will also take the same dish soap and I will just wash down the Foreo Luna. And because this does have silicone bristles, this does not harbor bacteria the way that these nylon type of bristles can. However, it's still a good idea to clean this cleansing device if you have it. You don't need to take a toothbrush or anything. Just, you know, like soap it and um, soap it up and just really rub that into the different bristles, rinse it, and you're good to go. And I only do this once a week. I don't put any alcohol on here because, like I said, this doesn't harbor bacteria the way that these bristles on the Clarisonic can. So that's all that I do for this. I do it once a week, usually on Sunday night is when I will do this, and it's good to go for the rest of the week. Now, um... Every night before I use my Clarisonic, one really important thing to note is you don't want to necessarily use your Clarisonic to remove your makeup. You can, but it's not the best use for the Clarisonic. Take a product like Philosophy Purity or if you use makeup remover wipes, use those. Whatever it is that you normally use, micellar water, there's a million makeup removing products on the market. Use one of those first. Then go in and use your Clarisonic to do your final cleansing. I see a lot of people show their Clarisonics on YouTube that are just brown with like makeup and whatever else is floating around in there. And I'm thinking, are you like cleaning that before you're putting it on your face again? And I don't think that a lot of people do. I think they just assume like you get the dirt off and it just is there and then that's fine. That's it. You really need to make sure that you remove your makeup first. That's going to keep your bristles nice and clean. And then every night, every night after I wash my face, I just take a quick, I just have a little bit of this in my bathroom in just a little like squirt bottle. I just take one tiny drop of the Method dish soap. I use Method because I love the Method products. And I will just put it on top of there. Again, this is after I'm done washing my face. I just rub it around and sort of clean the brush head with the dish soap. I'm very gentle about it. You don't need to like scrub or anything. And then I rinse this under really hot water to get all the soap out and to um, kill any like bacteria or whatever. Like I'm, we have really hot water in our house. So we have the hot water heater like cranked up like crazy, especially in the winter time. But then I just rinse this really well and I set it in a little dish to dry upright and then I'm good to go for the next morning. But this is so easy, you guys, and it's really worth doing, especially for those of you that are prone to breakouts and you love these cleansing devices. I really think this is something that you need to be doing to help prevent spreading bacteria or whatever else around your face. Um, it's very simple. It is something that should just become a part of your routine and once you have that in place it honestly just becomes habit and um, you'll probably notice a lot less issues on your face um, if you do stuff like this at least on a weekly basis clean these cleansing devices if you don't do it every single night at least do it on the weekends and then at the very least don't use your Clarisonic or your Foreo Luna to take your makeup off at night use some kind of makeup remover or wipe or something. Um, you can even get those makeup erasers so that, you know, you're not feeling like you're wasting or creating a bunch of like landfill material with the remover wipes. Get one of those makeup erasers. It's honestly going to help prolong the um, life of your cleaning devices and it's probably going to save you a few breakouts. So, Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Please leave me any questions down below. And um, thanks so much for putting up with my nasally voice today. I hope you guys have a great day. Please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.